Hey crafters, it's me Jen Evers with Quality Crafts and I have a fantastic technique to do with you guys today. I'm super thrilled to bring it to you guys. It came from a video on YouTube by Kaz Hall and I will link her in the description so that you can check out her video as well and send some love to her channel. I, I can't wait. Let's just go to the desk and get started. If you're working on this technique along with me, this is the stuff you'll need. A couple of pieces of just plain white scrap paper that you've got around. I'm using cardstock, 110 pound. And then a container to put your water in so that when your bubbles come up, you can fit that piece of paper in. Uh, Dawn or any kind of dish soap to make your bubbles with and a fork to make them you know, froth up. Two dark distress inks and it has to be the distress inks because they react with water. So if you don't have the distress inks, you want to run out and get a, just a couple of them because you don't need that many to make this work. And then you need something to get the ink onto the paper. Now I'm going to start with black, black soot. Okay, because this one I know for sure works really well and dark, dark colors work the best. And I'm going to put black all over this. I'm just going to slide this one out of the way for a minute. Now, however dark you want to make it, you want to leave a little bit white, play around with it. It's super fun. I'm just going to put some on all the way around it. And I'm going to leave a little bit of white in the center. Not that you have to, but which is what I'm going to do. Okay, and then you're going to take your Dawn or whatever kind of dish soap you have and just put a bunch in there and get some bubbles going. I'm just going to whip this up like I'm kind of scrambling eggs here. I could have done this ahead of time, but I wanted you guys to see it. Now we're getting more bubbles on the top. That's what we want. Okay, and then all we're going to do is we're going to take this and dip it in uh, into the bubbles. Whoops, I didn't want to get it all the way into the water, but there we go, we got bubbles. The last thing I forgot to tell you about, and this is important, is at the end you want to heat it with your heat gun. Here we go. Now, if you don't drop it in the water fully like I do, it's still going to be very damp from those bubbles, but look at the really cool result you get. is awesome. Let me show you a couple of pieces that I did beforehand. Here's one that I did that I put blue underneath and then black on top. Okay, and that was also on white. And then this one I just did a lot of black on a white. And look at that. It looks almost like I photographed or photocopied the bubbles right onto black paper. These are going to make such cool backgrounds for cards. You could white emboss a sentiment on there and put it up. They could be spooky for Halloween. They could be grungy for other kind of grunge kind of cards. I just, I'm so thrilled with this, you guys. It's just so much fun to play with. Let me put this one away and I'll do one more with you today. I'm going to do red because I really played around mostly with the black. So let's get a lot of red on here and see what we come up with with this. I'm going to put it on really heavy this time. This is a relatively new one. This is fired brick. Oops, so it's super juicy, which is why I'm able to get a ton of it on there, as you can see. And I'm just going to make sure that I've got enough bubbles, so I'm going to whip this up again. And this time I'm going to try not to drop it in there, but just to hit the bubbles on the card and then lift up. I'm just going to let them sit there a moment because you can already tell that it's working on that color. See that? Okay, now I'm going to put it back down. I'm going to heat set it. 
and I got a lot on the left side, but not a lot on the right. Do you see that? So cool. I'm going to dip the other side in and see if I can't get it to do more on that side. I need more bubbles. That is amazing. Now stay tuned into some of my next videos coming out. I will definitely make some cards with these. But use this technique right now as you've seen it. And go crazy. Use your own creativity. Make it uniquely yours. I can't wait to see you guys next video.